So in this problem we have two vectors a and b and we are asked to find the scalar product of the two vectors a dot b and we are given the magnitude of a and b as 4 and 5. So there's actually two ways to solve this problem. The first way is to use the magnitudes of the vectors and the angle between them. Uh, and our second way will be splitting the vectors into horizontal and vertical components and then using the dot product to multiply them. So just let me write down the scalar product for you guys. So the bracket A and the bracket B means the magnitude of A and B and this cos phi is the angle between the two vectors. So our first step is to find the angle between them two. So what would that be? So phi. Well, we know B is 130 degrees, so if we minus 53, that should give us the angle here, in between them. So this is the R phi. Phi is 130 minus 53 degrees. And this comes up to be 77 degrees. And we know the magnitudes of A and B is given here. So magnitude of A equals to 4. Magnitude of B equals to 5. So we have everything to solve the scalar product. So A dot B equals to 4 times 5 times cos of 77 degrees. And this comes out to be 4.5. Right, so this was our first method. Our second method, we will be using uh, a dot b equals to ax times bx plus ay times by. So how do we find the components? We know that ax, just um, this component here, and ay is is this component here. So it's actually really simple, you just do, since we know A is 4, we just do 4 cos 53 degrees, which comes out to be 2.4, and we know A y equals to 4 sine 53, which comes out to be 3.2. Again, similar to the A vector, Bx would equal to 5 cos 130 this would equal to negative 3.2 and by would equal to 5 sine 130 this would equal to 3.8 um, you may be wondering why bx is negative in this case because if we go to our bx Bx is pointing in the opposite direction and this is where the negative x starts to occur and the uh, by is positive because we're still going above so if, if the vector was like this the x would be negative and the y would be negative so multiplying these together using this formula uh, we should get the same answer 4.5 so a dot b would equal to 2.4 times negative 3.2 plus ay is 3.2 and by is 3.8 and if you multiply that out together you should get 4.5